Spring Bulk Day 25, boys. Today is freaking bicep and forearm day. I didn't even know I'd be doing this, but I feel recovered. And we got a lot of extra days left in the split. We skipped leg day this week so we can redirect the energy straight to the freaking bicep and forearms. And uh, yeah, I always open this. Uh, why do I open? Okay, here we go. So if any of you, okay, wow, it's still wet. If any of you has a Gatorade type of bottle, right, like this, you know that the thing tastes like plastic, like so much whenever you just kind of let it sit there for a while with some water in it. And uh, I, I gotta say, it just, it's like one of the, one of the less enjoyable tastes, that's for certain. But anyway, that has nothing to do with the content of today's video. I am probably just gonna do the same thing I usually do. Uh, Preacher Curls Single Arm Dumbbell. Probably go for, you know, 60. Single arm, you know, with as best form as I can get. Toss the weight around, you know. And probably drop down to 50, 55, do the same thing. Um, you know, I, I, I can control the weight pretty well at this point, you know, if it's anything really under 60. So definitely excited to get a massive pump from that. We get to drink lots of water, intake a lot of carbs. I have a pancake here, a couple pancakes waiting for me. Um, but yeah, we get, we get the creatine. Boom, pancake. Let's think. Syrup. And guys, I never wear this freaking, um, I don't know, hoodie tank top. I don't even know what it is, but it's pretty cool. So I figured I'd wear it today. It's about 42 degrees out, so that's pretty nice. And, um, yeah, I mean, I did not get a lot of sleep last night. I stayed up super late editing. Because I had a ton of footage to sift through from yesterday's video. I was up to like 7. But that will not be an issue today, boys. Let me think. Where, where, What am I getting right now? Oh, yeah. I'm getting another coffee. Because I feel pretty much completely drained. So hopefully this will help me. Um, although coffee does lessen the pump a little bit. Because caffeine is a vasoconstrictor, I believe. It, it makes your arteries a little smaller, I think, or something. It, like, temporarily. You know how all that stuff works. I don't know. I'm not a freaking scientist. Let me get the Merry Christmas mug quick. Ah. <sighs> so, you guys know how it is. We got to make our rounds. And drink the syrup for adequate carbohydrate intake. All right, I felt like quite a bit. Mm. I, I've gotten much better at chugging syrup these days. I think I'm the only one who has this, and I opened this up last week. So that should tell you something about my syrup intake. I'm serious about these carbs. Let's see how many servings per container there are. Okay, I should probably ease up a little bit. There's 63 servings per container. 25 carbs per serving. So, Alexa, what's 25 times 63? 1, so there's 1,575 carbs in this. And believe it or not, there are some bodybuilders who would have this whole thing of syrup over the course of like three to four days. All right, that's like top level athletes right there. And... I gotta be honest with you guys, you gotta you gotta think about health a little bit. At first, I was scared to intake this much sugar for a while just because I was thinking, you know, I don't I don't want blood sugar to be too high and everything, but then I realized I'm really lean uh, compared to the average person who would have blood sugar issues. And on top of that, I train really intensely, really hard. And I'm very active all the time. I just move around constantly. So, in that way, I would be able to have more carbs than a typical person. So, I'm not really scared of, of carbs anymore. And I talked about in yesterday's video. Obviously, be careful 
don't be dumb if you know you shouldn't be having something or I don't know, just doing anything. Don't do stuff you know you shouldn't do. But, um, what was my point? Don't be afraid either and don't let yourself be limited by fear, right? Like if you're a perfectly normal, perfectly healthy guy, whatever, or, or a girl, you never know who's watching. Um, <coughs> don't be afraid to bulk. Don't be afraid to put on some mass, you know? Whereas if you're already a very large person, Maybe that might not be the health. That is definitely not the healthiest option. So, speaking of, you know, gaining and losing weight, bulking, cutting, whatever. My now, I'm I don't have my dad on a plan yet necessarily, but he is going to the gym now, which is pretty cool. And you guys have probably seen him in my past couple videos. Um, I would always work out with my brother Joe who has been in most of my videos, but we also are tagging my dad along, which is cool. And uh, my dad's a, a, he's a big guy, man. I mean, he's like 6'5", he's 340-something, and, uh, you know, he's just a big dude, so he's probably going to pass me up in terms of strength pretty soon. He, I mean, he's already lifting quite a bit for his experience level. I mean, he was, like, effortlessly preacher curling the 35 his first time back to the gym. He already is overhead pressing a, a plate on the Smith machine like it's nobody's business. You know, tempo, like slow controlled. So, excited to see what happens there. I think it'd be cool to see my dad get some crazy transformation, you know? I hate when the powder doesn't mix all the way. It's annoying. But, um... Anyway. I think... My dad has a ton of potential for massive amounts of muscle growth because, like I said, he's basically a dinosaur. He And I'm not talking about in terms of age. I'm talking about in terms of size. I mean, he's a huge person. And, uh, I mean, I've heard of some of his lifts back in the day. Now, guys, he... He's the first person who I'd believe if they said they benched 405 in high school. He says, he, I've heard this story since I was a kid. He would always tell me, Max, whenever I was a freshman, I tried 700 pounds on a barbell squat. And then I almost died and almost broke my back and fell over with the weight. And then he says, a couple years later, when I think it was his junior year, he tried it again, 700 pounds. It was probably it was like seven plates. And uh, so that's like 675 technically. But he says he tried it again. And dude, he got it. So that's all I'm going to say is whenever he was younger than me, he was squatting some big weights. He was a big boy. He did wrestling, football, all that stuff. So... Like I said, he's got a lot of potential. The genetics are there. Now, unfortunately, I am not as tall as my dad. He's 6'5". I'm like 5'8". I don't know what happened there. But I think a lot of it has to do with the mom's genetics, to be honest, because my mom's like 5'2". So, you know, that's uh, you know, that's how it happens. If, if I see a kid who, you know, both their parents are the same height, both their parents are like 5'10", then the kid's probably going to be like 6'2", right? For no reason, just because the, the mom is fairly tall. Whereas if I see somebody with a really tall mom and like a medium dad, still the kid ends up tall. So I think, to be honest, it's dependent on both the parents, but especially on the mom. I don't know. Totally off track here. Um, my brother, Joe, he's taking a cut seriously right now. He's trying to get real lean. And um, he's currently 170 right? And he's, he's a boxer. He never really has been a bodybuilder whatsoever or has never really tried to commit long-term to putting on tons of size. Um, he was pretty jacked at one point, but again, he's a boxer. So he kind of was like, all right, I'm going to let that go. Let me just try to get as good as I can at cardio, stay in my weight class. And now he's like, all right, I want to start to gain muscle, 
right? He wants to get back into bodybuilding. And um, so we, we got him on a cut right now. And, um, you know, he's going to gain a ton of muscle. I'm, uh, it's definitely going to happen. I mean, he's got great potential, great genetics. It's pretty much just a matter of time. And I'm excited to see him be, uh, you know, similar to me body composition-wise. That's definitely not far off seeing as he's my brother. So, I mean, we share very similar genetics. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this intro. I will see you guys in the gym for some biceps and forearms. Take care. Strong, come on. Easy, let's go. Up. Come on, you got two more. Up. One more, yeah. Oh, there it is. Yes. Oh. That's power, come on. Easy. Yes. One more, one more, yes. Up.
Alright boys, I am filming this a couple days, no actually, not a couple days later, a day after the workout. I didn't get to upload a video yesterday, um, just because I was just really busy, like, all day. Uh, but that's fine, you know, it is what it is. Still gonna upload this one though, and it's, uh, hopefully it was a banger. Uh, it went pretty well in general. I don't think I gave my, um forearm bones long enough rest i thought that going lighter um and taking a few days extra you know to rest would help but you know it is what it is it helped quite a bit but not as much as i thought it would and uh in terms of the preacher curls i'm gonna have to check my back day and see if uh, i pr'd um because i know i got six reps on the 60s with my top set or on the 60 i guess because i was doing one arm and uh, on my back day, where I start with biceps also, I wonder, you know, how many reps I got. Because if I got more, then that would mean that I'm kind of, like if I had eight reps, but today I got six, that would mean that I'm doing something wrong. So, anyway, the pump was good overall. I am rating this pump a day later, but I mean, it was really a solid pump. I had veins, like, that were insane. The forearm pump was crazy. I did reverse curls and wrist curls and everything. I got a freaking... My arm just looks huge still. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get another flex in here. Oh, boy. You can even see this freaking split. You guys see that? It looks, You can see both both my, you know what I'm saying, not both my biceps, but you know what I mean. Both the heads of the bicep. That's pretty freaking cool. Anyway, the bulk is in full effect, boys. I will see you guys tomorrow.